Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, we'll be creating sticky notes with expandable content with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. We're gonna give this page a name. I'm just gonna call this sticky, but of course you can name your page whatever you want. And then I'm gonna click on use Divi Builder. I'm gonna build this from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this. And straight away, I'm gonna go ahead and add my column structure and I'm gonna go with one third, two thirds. Next, we need to go into our row settings. So I'm gonna click on this gear icon and then I'm gonna click the advanced tab. And here, what we need to do is to adjust the transition duration. So I'm gonna come over here and for the transition duration, we're gonna set it down to zero. So we're gonna save this. And then what we're gonna do next is to add a text module to column one. So I'm gonna click this plus button, search for my text module and select it. So in here, we just need to add a word called research and we need to set this to heading two. So I'm gonna come over here on this drop down and select heading two. Now it's time to add my background color on this text module. So I'm gonna come over here to background and then I'm gonna click this plus button and paste my color in here. Now, if you wanna use the exact same color as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link in the show notes below. So now that we've added the background color, let's head over here to design and customize our text. So the first thing you're gonna do is to come over here to heading. And then since this is heading two, we're gonna select this and we're gonna add a custom font. So our custom font here is called Indie Flower. So I'm gonna search for it. It's a Google font and here it is. I'm gonna select it. And for the text alignment, I'm gonna center it. And then I'm also going to give this text a custom color. So I'm gonna come over here, click this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Right, the next thing is to adjust my text size. So I'm gonna set this to 40, enter it manually. Now, as you can see here in our design, there isn't enough breathing space around our word research. So let's go ahead and fix that by adding some padding. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing and I'm gonna start by adding 150 and this needs to be applied both to the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna click this chain icon and as you can see, just apply the equal amount of padding to the top and the bottom. Now we're also going to do the same on the left and right and this time this is gonna be 20 pixels and I'm also going to apply this to the left and the right and now we can see that our word has breathing space. Now it's time to add a border. So I'm gonna come over here to border and the border we're gonna add goes to the top. So I'm gonna click here on this second tab and border width is gonna be 20 pixels. So I'm gonna enter it manually here and then we're also going to change our border color. So I'm gonna click here on this eyedropper tool and paste our custom color. Now, as I mentioned before, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. So now that we've added this, the next stage now is to add a divider to column one. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna save this, and then I'm gonna click this plus button and search for my divider module and select it. Now you wanna make sure that your divider here is set to yes to show it. Now let's add our color to our divider. So I'm gonna come over here to design. Right, so now we're gonna add our color. So I'm gonna click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. For my divider style, I'm gonna change this to dashed. And then over here on sizing, I'm gonna set my divider weight and this is gonna be five pixels. And the height, we're gonna set this to zero. Now let's head over here to spacing and add our top margin. So over here, we're gonna set our margin to 150. So now, as you can see, our line here is horizontal. So in our design, we need to make it vertical. So in order for us to do that, we need to go to transform, rotate. So I'm gonna come over here to transform, and then I'm gonna to come to transform, rotate. So here, what we need to do is to adjust our first setting here to 270 degrees, and that's what's gonna make our line vertical. So I'm gonna come over here and enter my value. And now you can see that I've transformed this line. Now let's head over here to visibility. So I'm gonna click here on advanced and we are going to set an, uh, a Z index of a minus 99. Now it's time to add a second text module onto column one. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, search for my text module and select it. So all we're going to add here on this text module is a symbol, just that just little dot right there. And now we need to customize it. So let's go to our text font. So I'm gonna click here on the design tab and on text, we're gonna set this to open sans. So I'm gonna search for it. And then the next stage is to add my color. So I'm gonna paste my color in here. 
and my size is going to be 100 pixels, so we might as well add that right away. And for the line height, we're gonna set this to 1 EM. And text orientation, we're gonna center this. Now let's head over here and position this. So I'm gonna to come to spacing and we're going to, we're going to add a minus 50 on the margin and then save. Now right now this dot is not in the right place so I need to position this correctly. So I'm gonna come over here to expand settings, click on wireframe mode and then I'm just gonna drag this below like that. Now let's switch over here to the desktop mode and now you can see that our dot now is centered all right so the next stage now is to enter the column uh, text module number three so and this needs to go into column two so let's come over here click this plus button search for text add my text module now what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to add a bit of a paragraph uh, here for the main part of the text so i'm going to paste it now, since this is going to be a heading, I'm going to highlight it and set it to heading three, but make sure you're in the visual tab. So I'm going to highlight it and set it to heading three. And now it's time to customize it. So I'm going to click here on design text. In fact, we need to go to the heading text. So I'm going to select it here. And this is heading three. Now let's change our default fonts to indie flower. We're gonna set our text color by clicking on this eyedropper tool. And now we're gonna set our size for our heading to 30 pixels. Right, so the next stage now is to add a top margin of 400 pixels. So I'm gonna come over here to spacing and add our margin. So this is so that we add a space here on the top. So when you hover over it, it's just going to show up here on the side. All right, so pretty much we're done with this. I'm going to save. And then we need to add another text module here below this heading. So I'm going to click on this plus button, search for my text module and select it. So I'm just going to paste my dummy text in here. And now let's stylize this text by coming over here to the design tab text. And we're going to change from default to open sans for our font. And then I'm also going to set my size to 13 pixels and line height of 2 EM. So now you can see the text, the paragraph here is easier on the eye. It's much easier to read because we've just added that line height. Right, so the next stage now is to customize the width of this paragraph. So to do that, we're going to come over here to sizing and we're going to set our width to 78%. And now let's head over to spacing because over here we need to add a top and bottom margin. But here for the top, we're just going to add 10 pixels. And for the bottom, we're going to set this to 50. Now it's time to add our call to action button. So let's go ahead and save this. So I'm going to come over here as well. Just mouse over this area here. Click this plus button. And this time we're going to add a button module. So I'm going to click here to select it. And for our button text, we're just going to call this learn more. Now let's go ahead and customize it. But before I do that, if you do want to add a link for this button, you want to add it right here. So in my case, I'm just gonna add a blank link. Now let's go ahead and customize this. So I'm gonna click here on design. Let me just put this in frame so we can see what we're changing here. So in order for us to make customizations to our button, we need to make sure we click here on button and activate use custom styles for button. Now we can go in and start working on this. So let's start by adding a, a button background color. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and paste our color. Now, if you want to use the exact same color here, I've also added, added this post to the link in the show notes below. Right, so now that we've added that, let's go ahead and add our button size. And uh, button size here is going to be 20 pixels, so that's fine. Now let's add our button text color. So here we're going to click on this eyedropper tool and paste the color like that. Now, as you can see here, we have, we have this border and, but to be honest, it doesn't really look nice. So let's get rid of that border width. So I'm just going to slide the slider down here to zero. And for the font, we're going to change this to Abaya Libri. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to find my font here. Oh, there it is. So I'm going to search for it because this font is also a Google font. Okay, so here's my font, I'm gonna select it. Next, we're going to go to spacing and give this text some breathing space. So I'm gonna come over here and we're going to add a top and bottom padding of 20 pixels. So I'm gonna activate my chain and then I'm gonna give a left and right padding of 60. 
So I'm gonna activate my chain again. So now you can see we have a huge button. So pretty much we've uh, added all the elements that we need for our design. So what we need to do next is to clone this row twice because we're also going to add pretty much similar design to the other rows that we're going to be creating. So to make things easy for us, we're just gonna duplicate this twice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So now, as you can see, we have all that right here on the bottom. So let's go ahead and customize the other parts. So let's start with the first duplicate and change the background colors. So I'm gonna come over here and click on this gear icon. So I'm gonna click here on background and change my color right away. Uh, as I mentioned, all my colors are going to be linked in the show notes below. All right, so I've added my color there for the background. Now for the text here, we're gonna change this from research to strategy. So now we're gonna change the top border. So I'm gonna click here on design border, and then we're gonna to go to the top border here and add our color. So let's go ahead and save because the next stage now is to change this divider, this divider line. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna come over here and click on this icon, design, line, and then here we're gonna change the color. Again, I'm gonna paste the color in here like that. So now you can see the colors are consistent. Right, so next let's work on our button. So I'm gonna save this. And then I'm gonna click here on this gear icon to access my button settings. Click here on design. And then we want to come over here to our background color because that's the main color here we're gonna change. So I'm gonna paste my color like that. So now this matches all the content that we have here on this row. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and then work on the final one. So pretty much what we're going to do here is to add all our colors. So I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and do that but the process to add the colors here is pretty much the same as I did right here. Okay, so this is what our design looks like. I've added all my colors. So the next stage now is to go in and create our expandable content. So I'm gonna start here with the first row. So I'm gonna click here on this row settings and I'm gonna set my maximum height to 397. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here to design, sizing, and I'm gonna set my max height to 397. Paste it in here. Now let's add a hover state. So over here, I'm gonna click on this little arrow and on the hover state, we're gonna set this to 100%. Next, we're gonna change the overflows for uh, all the rows. So I'm gonna start here with visibility. So on the horizontal overflow, we need to set this to hidden. And over here on the defaults, uh, a vertical overflow, we need to change it from default to hidden as well. So now we need to go in and do this for the rest of them. So I'm just gonna save this for now. So once you've added all your overflows, this is what it looks like. Now, when we mouse over this, this is where it starts revealing all the content. So I'm just gonna add my mouse over here and now you can see that the content is now showing. I'll do this one more time for this bottom one. And this also works for mobile devices. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.